What's up, folks? This your boy, Darko. Welcome to another edition of Kindles and Kicks. Okay, so today I'm participating in the Spring Into Adventure tag. This was a tag created by Literate Texan. He created it to celebrate the Spring Into Adventure reading event. I was tagged by my friend Carl over at Please Read Your Book. And this is just one tag that I have not answered, even though I was tagged in it a while ago. So I figured I tackle it today. There are 10 prompts, so let's get into it. Number one, what's your favorite adventure book? That was pretty easy. I have to go with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire because that is the adventure book I've read and reread the most out of any adventure book I've read. It's my favorite in the Harry Potter series and one of my favorite adventure books I've ever read. Prompt number two, what's the newest or most recently published adventure book you've read? That would have to go with The Ice by Ryan Cahill. It's a novella in his Bound in the Broken series. I have fallen in fallen. I have fallen in love with this series since the day it was recommended to me. The Ice is a novella that is probably the weakest in the whole series, in my opinion. But overall, the series is just remarkable, and I'm enjoying every bit of it. Number three is what's the oldest adventure book I've read? I think that's The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I could not think of anything else I've read that was older than that because that was published, I think, in like 1936 or 1937. And oddly enough, I actually liked it more than the Lord of the Rings books. I know I probably just cursed and cursed at all of the fantasy community. But yeah, The Hobbit. And I love it. Number four, what's your favorite adventure book author? I would have to go with Brandon Sanderson because even though Harry Potter is probably my most reread series, I haven't reread as many books by J.K. Rowling as I have by Brandon Sanderson. Like I've reread Stormlight several times, and Mistborn several times, Warbreaker a couple of times. Like he's probably my most read and reread author. And of course, can't wait till the next installment of Stormlight Archive later this year. Number five is what's your favorite film adaptation of an adventure book? For me, that is easily Lord of the Rings. Even though I'm not a big fan of the books, I love the films, all three of them, extended editions, and I watch them pretty regularly. I remember the first time I saw them, and it was before I even knew they were based on books, and I was just blown away. So definitely L-O-T-R for best film adaptation of an adventure book, or books in this case. Number six is what's your favorite adventure book character? I'm currently reading Steven Erickson's Malazan, Malazan, Book of the Fallen, and I'm in Gardens of the Moon, and, and Amanda Rake. Easy. Every time my man steps on the screen, he steals the show. And I have absolutely fallen in love with him as a character. I just can't wait to get further in the series and learn more about him and his backstory. Number seven, do you prefer fiction or nonfiction books? Fiction all day. I just can't get into nonfiction adventure books because my primary reason for reading fiction, particularly adventure books, is to kind of escape reality for a little bit. So when something is real, especially when it's like a extremely harrowing tale when someone survives like crazy odds, like stuck in a mountain for 27 days. It just, to me, takes away the enjoyment of the story. Even though I appreciate what the person endured, I can't really escape like I can when I read something that's fictional. Number eight is 
do I consider myself adventurous? Why or why not? Not at all. Um, I've never been the adventure type. I'm very routine and kind of stick to the same things day to day. I don't really go out much. You won't catch me going anywhere crazy or doing any kind of adrenaline rushing activity. I will much rather sit at home, read, watch TV, go shopping in my free time, but nothing adventurous. Not even when I was younger, like I didn't do anything adventurous. I was always a pretty boring kid and I'm now a very boring adult. It's just the way I, I was made. I don't no, I just don't like adventure, at least in real life. Love adventure books, though. Number nine is what's your favorite genre to combine with adventure? For me, that's science fiction. Um, I always love a good sci-fi adventure similar to Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I think it's just really cool and something special when an adventure book is grounded in to in like with actual scientific theories like, you know, M-string theory or the theory of infinite universes. And that's used to create an amazing adventure tale um, that is entertaining and both kind of enlightening because, hey, what if this is possible? Like it really has you questioning reality and physics. So any kind of book like that, I am completely all for. And I think Blake Crouch does a great job with it. Number 10 is do you play or have you ever played any adventure themed games like video games, board games, tabletop RBGs, etc.? So yes to adventure video games. Like I love The Witcher 3, Last of Us, um, Mario Brothers back in the day, God of War on PlayStation, um, Spider-Man games most recently. You know, I mean, adventure games. I mean, adventure is my favorite genre in video games. I have not played any adventure board games. I've played one tabletop game. It's this kind of esoteric tabletop RPG called Blades in the Dark that I don't hear anything about. And it's a sort of gothic tabletop RPG. I can't remember much about it because it's been so long, but a coworker and I were just talking about tabletop RPGs and he just invited me to a few games to see if I would like it. And it was pretty entertaining, but like a, all the guys there were, you know, like RPG vets and I was a newbie. So it was kind of difficult for me to really get into it. However, it was, you know, it was still a pretty, pretty interesting experience. And I think if I found a more novice group like myself, I would have had a better time with it. All right, so those are my answers for the Spring Into Adventure tag. So it's kind of crazy because anybody I would tag in this video, I think has actually already answered this tag because I'm pretty late to the game. So if anyone just sees this video and would like to have fun with it and respond to the prompts, please feel free because I would love to see your answers and just let me know when you do and I check you out. This is Darko, Kindles and Kicks. Like, comment, subscribe. i see you next time. Peace. Hello? This is Caleb.